only been one week since the student loan forgiveness application process has started and the stuff is already hitting the fan. Let me know in the comments, have you filled out your student loan forgiveness application? Well, I went ahead and did mine during the beta phase and I had already got my email where they were saying it was submitted and then it was going to be possibly some next steps. But then like a few days after that, I get this email where they was asking me, did I want to go ahead and fill out my application? And I'm just like, what what is going on and i almost went ahead and resubmitted my application but then i read the email and it was stating that if you had already filled out the application don't worry but i'm just like why did i get another email if i had already got an email stating that it was submitted so i'm just like that doesn't really look good to me already because i really didn't think that we needed to do a application because all of the information that they had requested they already knew and then we know those six states have filed a lawsuit saying that they didn't want any parts of this student loan forgiveness plan because they were stating that this could really impact their state's economy. And then that ended up getting dismissed. So it's just like, okay, now we're going to get at it. But then right after they dismissed those six states, the U.S. appeals court went ahead and did a temporary block on the student loan forgiveness so i'm just like wow you know it's just one thing after another so let me know in the comments do you think that there is going to be any student loan forgiveness i'm just like i don't know right now because it just seems like every other week there's something going on but in this video we're going to talk about do you think that the student loans are going to get forgiven let's get into it Hey everybody, I'm Tasha from the Major Change Group where we believe small changes can create big results. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. We talk about how to get your money straight, how to increase your credit score, and how to use your credit card like a debit card. With the U.S. appeals judge filing this temporary block on the student loans, I'm not for sure if I really feel like this is going to happen. It's like, was this in Biden's plan? Did he know any of this was going to go down? What do you think that Biden is going to do next? Now we know that Biden stated that this was gonna be the last time he was gonna extend the no student loan or no interest on the student loans since he had the student loan forgiveness plan going on. <laughs> but y'all, I'm just like, I don't know. With all this stuff, it seems like every week something new is happening. I feel like Biden might have to extend the no student loan payment or no student loan interest past December 31st. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about that? Because with the U.S. Appeals Court filing this temporary block, and then we know those states were stating that they didn't want any parts of this because it feels like it was going to impact their state's economy. I was reading that the Congressional Budget Office was stating with Biden's student loan forgiveness plan, this can cost the government over $400 billion. But when you hear Senate Democrats like Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, you know, Elizabeth Warren wanted to forgive like 50000 in student loans and Bernie Sanders wanted to forgive all of the student loans. But they were stating by forgiving an amount of the student loans, this would help put money back into the economy because it would help people start families, buy houses and things of that nature. But let me know in the comments, do you feel like forgiving an amount of the student loan? And, you know, let's say if your student loans were forgiven, would you put more? Are you going to put more money back into the economy if your student loans were forgiven? Over the almost three years that we've been talking about some type of student loan forgiveness, you know, like I was stating, Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren wanted either all of the student loans to be forgiven or 50000 And then Biden at the end of his campaign was stating that he would do an executive order of the 10K. But I really think if we tackle the interest on student loans, that is the way to go over tackling, you know, like 10000 or 20000 or even 50000 of our student loans. Because what's going to happen in five to 10 years when the student loans just kind of blow up because right now they're only including student loans from June 30th prior. So all the new student loans, you know, for this quarter and then the next, people are still going to be racking up all the student loan debts and we're going to just get right back to the same place that we were. So I really feel like by tackling the student loan interest, that would really help. Overall, what do you think is going to happen with the student loan forgiveness? Do you think any amount of the student loans are going to be forgiven? 
Do you think that they're going to continue to push this out? Now, on the one hand, I was really still considering with them still in the process of forgiving the public student loans. Now, they have been forgiving some people's public student loans, so we know that that's in place. Do you think that they're just kind of holding back on, you know, just the federal student loans until they finish with the public student loans? I don't know. I definitely hope that's the case opposed to it not happening at all. But I wonder if Biden is going to extend the no student loan payment or no interest past December 31st. But we're going to have to see. Let me know in the comments. What do you think is going to happen? Well, I hope that you found this helpful. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend, turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified when new content drops. I thank you so much for watching. Until next time. It's not a game, it's a red stick.